coal and the great exertions of Britain's miners, transport workers and dockers broke the back of the fuel crisis. How much went into these efforts you can see from these pictures taken at Barnsley in the heart of the great South Yorkshire coal fields. The Prime Minister's fuel general staff asked for a 100% effort to bring the coal to the needed areas. They got it. Up the Thames come the little ships. They braved gales and snowstorms to bring the coal where it was needed. At the power stations, depleted of almost all their stocks, they unload the cargoes. Meanwhile, our survey team went out to hear the opinion of the man in the street. From a busy main street in London, the voice of the people answers the question of the hour. Now the question is, what would you do if you were fuel minister? Well, it isn't a case of what I'd do, it's what I would have done some months ago in preparation for this. Yes, ma'am? Well, if I were Mr. Shinwell, I would resign while the going is good at the moment and give a better man a chance. Sure. I would throw in sponges and go down himself and do a couple of shifts. I should put Polish miners into the pits in the same way as the Belgians have put Italian into theirs. Thank you, madam. I do exactly as the fuel minister is doing today. I'd retire and let somebody who knows what they're doing take over the job. I should still have sufficient faith in my people to count on their full cooperation. Thank you very much. And in another part of London, talking point of the week is still fuel minister Emmanuel Shinwell. What would you do if you were the fuel minister? Well, uh, to save coal, I think he could cut down a lot of lights on the tubes and the buses. Well, if I was Mr. Shinwell, I think I'd get out while the going's good. Thank you. <laughs> and Mr. Shinwell's not nothing to do with it at all. He's clearing up the muddle the others left behind. That's what I say. Right, yes. Well, there are. opinion of it. <laughs>